Sulani is beautiful and pristine and a wonderful place to live, with the exception of one area. This dirty, dusty old lot underneath the volcano. <coughs> I got to get my hands on The Sims 4 Island Living early at EA Play last weekend, so this video is presented by EA Game Changers. Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to another episode of Fixer Upper. Usually I renovate your houses in this series, but today we're back with another build featuring The Sims 4 Island Living. Today I renovated this tiny little starter home up in the top of Sulani underneath a spooky scary volcano. So as you can see, it's a really small house. It's kind of, like I said, dusty. <laughs> it's not the best looking place, okay, but I wanted to give it a bit of a makeover and make it look more beautiful and welcoming and exciting and such. So I did just that. It's a really small build, but I think it turned out pretty cute. And so here's a quick tour of the house and the lot and the area that it's in. You can see there's an active volcano right there. This lot actually has the volcanic activity lot trait, so it's Definitely um, a little bit in danger, but as you can see, we're starting to renovate the house now. I started by putting it on a little bit of a higher foundation because I wanted to make it look a little bit more interesting. I figured that the foundation it was on was non-existent and a little bit boring, so I wanted to raise it up a little bit. I also kept the roof the same. I liked that green roof texture, but I thought the blue with the green was like a little bit too much, so I wanted to change it to be something a little bit different. I actually changed a lot of the shape of the house because I figured it was kind of just weird looking and it needed a little bit of help to, to spruce it up a bit, if you will. <laughs> this is the new roof texture and new foundation and new wall paint and stuff that all comes with this pack. The foundation's actually in the base game now. They added that in the base game update, so we'll see that coming this week. I believe on the 18th they're updating the game. I could have made that up, but it'll be soon. They added a bunch of things in this update, including the new foundations, uh, a bunch of items featuring some pride items. They have a whole new pride update coming later this month too, but they have a pride flag. They've got, again, the new foundations. They've got a lounge chair coming into the base game. They've got a cool, a bunch of cool new things. I'm very glad. Also a trait randomizer <laughs> coming into the base game, which is about time because as many of you know, um, oh my God, we've needed a trait randomizer for so long. We've never had one, but I learned literally today. I had no idea before now. This is not bill related. I'm sorry. But I learned today that UI Cheats has a trait randomizer in the, the mod. If you right click on the aspiration in Cass, it randomizes the aspiration and the traits. I had no idea. Never tried that. Didn't even think about it. But that's been there all along. So that's embarrassing. But <laughs> um, you learn something new every day. But either way, I actually made this house a little bit less colorful on the outside, which is kind of sad and lame, I know. But I figured that the house was... Um, it was a bit too much for this like dusty old place underneath the volcano that it is. I think I'm gonna do some more colorful builds when I get the pack for real. I did some kind of like red toned builds, <laughs> very like beige and brown builds when I was at EA Play because I was scared of the new bright blue wall texture. I tried to use it in one of them and then I was like, I can't do it, it's too much. But once I get my hands on this pack for real, I have so many ideas for new like colorful builds because the landscaping really lends itself well to that and I'm really excited to try it. It's gonna be real good. Um, but I did actually do a lot of bright landscaping here because I liked the idea of this area kind of being, I mean, obviously it wasn't actually destroyed by a volcano, but I liked the idea of this area kind of many years ago being destroyed by a volcano um, and now it's kind of starting to grow back and so this area around the house is really lush and beautiful and I wanted to just use the new landscaping because we have so many cool new plants. Like I love them so much. This pack is the best one so far for landscaping. I can't wait to use these things because I love the new low-lying like leafy, leafy grass stuff because we need that kind of thing so badly. I complain all the time about not having any like plain like filler plants basically. These are really good filler plants and there's a lot of good flowers. It's just, it's real nice, really nice landscaping stuff in this pack. So at least that worked out nicely, right? <laughs> and the furniture is so good and all the, oh my god, everything about this pack is really good. The textures, the roof textures especially, like I love this one. I know it's kind of like old looking, but I almost feel like it's intentional on this house. I don't know. I really like the idea of that. And they also have two new roof textures as well, aside from this one. There's two like thatched roof textures. They're just really good. Like this pack, as far as build mode goes, has brought me so much joy. <laughs> because you guys know I'm a builder and this stuff is just so fun. And the gameplay is so cool. Like obviously we're missing some things. Um, for example, there is no island counter matching the counters, but they did say they're gonna fix that before it releases, so that's good. Uh, and I mean, 
as long as they fix it, I won't even complain. <laughs> but the early access build we played on did not have a matching island to the counters, which is kind of dumb that an island pack has no islands, but whatever. Um, <laughs> but there's new beaches that are so cool, and this pack is really just so good. I said it before in my videos on it, but like, it really exceeded all my expectations, and I had so much fun playing with it, and I can't wait to get my hands on it again. I want to build more. I have so many ideas. The thing is, like, I didn't know what the world was going to look like when I started building in it, so when I came into Island Living to record this for the first time, I hadn't even seen the trailer yet, because they showed us a trailer when we got to there. So like, we get our capture session, and they show us the trailer then, and they're like, okay, go. So I had no, like, I was looking up build inspiration beforehand but I didn't know what the pack was gonna look like like I had an idea like obviously it's gonna be an island pack and well we didn't know for sure but it, was, it had been leaked so I was pretty sure and, but I didn't know what the build items were gonna be like or what the world was gonna look like so I didn't really know how to prepare or pick out a style or anything beforehand because like how do you pick out a style for a world that you don't know exists and also I didn't know there was gonna be the lots like obviously the lots in this world most of them, some of them, not this one, but a lot of them are on the beach, and so they're like half in the water, half on the beach, and so there's a lot of terrain tool stuff going on, and I didn't know that going into this, so like, how was I going to prepare for that? But now that I've seen it, I've got all these ideas in my head, <laughs> like, I can't wait to get my hands on it again and build more. I'm really excited. I'm going to do Let's Build as soon as it comes out. I'm really excited about that too. I've already got some pictures that I'm going to build it up based off of. If you guys didn't know, I do a lot of Let's Builds on my channel, which basically means that I do like a Let's Play style video. So instead of a speed build where I build it all in one video, uh, I'll record for like 45 minutes, cut it down, and then post parts. So I build it real time on camera. I've been doing those a lot recently on my channel, and I'm going to do another one with this pack, obviously. Um, I've been saying I want to do a beach house for a long time, but then when they leaked this pack and it was going to be an island one, I was like, oh... We're gonna wait to see what the pack is before I do this beach house because I don't I don't want to like do a beach house without Island Living now. So I've been saying I'll do one for a while. I'm actually gonna do it now that we have this pack for real. But I'm really excited to get my hands on it again, obviously. And I did get to play it already, but like six hours is not enough, okay? And it wasn't even six, it was more like four hours. That's not enough. <laughs> I need more time. I'm so excited. I just love The Sims, okay? We know this. And this pack is so cool. And I really like the new the new brick texture thing. Like, that stone is so nice. I mean, the more I look at this stuff, the more excited I get. <laughs> it's just really good. Oh, my heart is so full, everyone. Today is a good day. But I did post a few more videos on this pack on my YouTube channel. I have two other build videos. I've got a mermaid cast video thing. I've got a world overview. And I have a stream re-upload where I stream myself just watching back all my footage and kind of answering questions and talking about it. So if you want to see any of those, there's a ton of Island Living content on my channels. I'll link all those videos down below. I also post all my streams on YouTube on my second channel. That's a link in the description box as well. And I stream every day on Twitch, including today. That's twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy. <laughs> I've been doing this thing recently where I spin a wheel when people subscribe on Twitch and then it decides what happens to my sim and it's been pretty bad. I've like cheated on sims, destroyed marriages, had a baby. It, it's been a rough time, but it's been fun. <laughs> so if you want to watch that, there's a link in the description box. I hate to plug, but like, listen, if you want more Island Living stuff, I've got a ton of early access stuff on my channel. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut off right here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I thought it was a cute build and this world is so good. Like it just, it's been fun to play in. Also, there were like 50 game changers at EA Play. So there is a ton of content on this pack on YouTube right now. So if you're looking for more videos, check out some of my friends. I've got a few of my favorites linked in the description box as well. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye, everybody.
I was gonna do face cam for this video and then I saw my face before I started recording and I was like, ooh, ugh, no. <laughs> so, no face cam. We really out here today. Am I right, guys? Am, am I right? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. 